All it's Dan for a numerical lion coming at you from a secret undisclosed location to talk about this secret occult practice of gematria, this ancient Kabbalistic practice of coding numbers into words. Numbers are letters, letters are numbers. Saw the story today, another murder by numbers here. Offed by the code, Chris Dolman, Hall of Fame defensive end, dies at age 58. 58, that number of Freemasonry. That's who's running your professional sports leagues. That's who's running everything. So let's read a little bit of the article. From Minneapolis, Hall of Fame defensive end, Chris Dolman, who became one of the NFL's most feared pass rushers during 15 seasons in the league, he has died. He was 58 years old. And here he is in this picture against uh, sacking Lions quarterback Rodney Pete on December 5th, 1993. I'll show you why that's interesting. That was on a day with 17 numerology, 17 like kill. Kill 17, also 110 numerology, and I'll tell you why that's interesting, and also 39 numerology. This happened in 93, plays for the Minnesota Vikings, Minnesota Vikings 93, also 110, this happened on a day with 110 numerology, Minnesota Vikings equals... 93 in the with the S exception. So, what else? So he there was no word on the cause or timing of Dolman's death, but he had surgery in January of 2018, like two years ago, to remove a brain tumor. And he played college ball at. For Pittsburgh, before he was selected by Minnesota in the first round of the 1985 NFL Draft, he spent his first nine seasons with the Vikings, collecting a league-high 21 sacks in 1989. 6'5", Dolman also played for Atlanta and San Francisco for, before finishing his career. But with Minnesota in 1999, he collected 150 and a half sacks in 232 games, he was a first-team All-Pro selection on two occasions. He also made eight Pro Bowls. Pro Bowls. <clears throat> so let's get to the deco. There was a lot here. I kind of went overboard, probably. But Chris Dolman equals 121 and 67 in these two ciphers here. And he had a brain tumor, brain tumor, 67. And you see this number 67 a lot. He was a defensive end. Look at Chris Dolman in defensive end. He died at age 58, right? Defensive end, 58. Dolman, 58, also 67. Brain tumor, 67. Defensive end, 67. And also blood sacrifice. 67 and 121, just like Chris Dolman. And the 76 is interesting because he was born on the 289th day with 76 remaining. October 16th, 76 days remaining. As far as the 289, he weighed 289 pounds. Very often this happened. Look at also show you why 66 foot 5, why that's interesting. He weighs 289 pounds. Number 56. Um, and 289 is interesting because it's <coughs> the square root is 17. Remember, we we're talking about that picture was on a day with 17 numerology. Kill 17, also 64 and 28. And he's dead on the 28th. And Dolman is 64 and 28, just like Kill. He was a defensive end, 59, in Jewish Gematria, kill is 59.
also 59 a prime number, the 17th prime number, getting back to 17 again. Kill 17, born on the 289th day, seven, you know, the square root of 289 is 17. All right, he was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2012. He's a defensive end, 212. Don't count the zero in gematria, I mean in numerology. He was born in Indianapolis and played for the Minnesota Vikings. There's Indianapolis, 60, 69, 2, 1, 75. He died on a day with 69 numerology. 1 plus 28 plus 20 plus 20 is 69. And Minnesota Vikings, 201, 75. 93, like that game in 93. 231 and 96. And I'll show you why these numbers are interesting. 96, the reflection of 69. 201, just like Indianapolis, 75, just like Indianapolis, right? <clears throat> and 231 is the 21st triangular number. If you go to, oops, 231, 21st triangular number. Let's go back to this decode here. Um, <clears throat> he was born on, I'm sorry, he died at 128 or 28 slash 1. Most people say that. 281, the 60th prime number. All right, that gets our 60. Born in Indianapolis, died, right, on 28 slash 1, the 60th prime. And Indianapolis equals 60. Um, he died on the 15th week of his age. October 16th to January 28th is 15 weeks. Also, it was 105 days or 15, right? 105 days on the 105th day of his age or 15. And that is interesting because he played 15 years in the NFL and he died on a day with 15 numerology. 1 plus 2 plus 8 plus 2 plus 2 is 15. And if you write out 15, it equals 38. And that's a familiar number in this practice. Also, he played for Minnesota. 38, his best years were with Minnesota. And death, killing, murder, also 58. Oops, if you spell it correctly. Death, 38, right? Killing, 38. <coughs> Murder, 38. These are all familiar numbers. His full name, Christopher John Dolman, equals 110. Remember that game, the picture? of him against the Lions that was on a day with 110 numerology or 11, right? All these numbers add up to 11 too. Three and eight is 11, right? Also Minnesota, he played for Minnesota. Minnesota 110 as well or 11. Look at his stats. Let's look at his stats for a minute. <clears throat> played 232 games. He started 213 of them. Total tackles, 218. Total assists, 61. He had 150 sacks. Look, 121 yards from interceptions. 15.1 average. 59 was his longest. 44 was that? Uh, fumbles. So it's about fumbles. Anyway, these are all relevant numbers. Because um, 232 games, he's from Indianapolis, Indiana, or IN that equals 232. Let me show you. See, that equals 232. <coughs> also, 83, like murder, 74, like killing, right? Also, 213 games started. Death and Satanic is 213. Death and the Satanic Cipher. Which is 
I don't use it very often, but it has come up a lot. So 213 days game started. Death 213. He had 150 sacks, which is 15, right? He died 15 weeks or 105 days after his birthday. There's 121 yards. Remember, blood sacrifice 121. Um, Chris Dolman 121. 121. The square root is 11. Right? If you go to 121. Square root is 11. And the reason I have this 263 up, I'll show you that. He wore number uh, 56. <coughs> and from, here it is, from his birthday, I'm sorry, from his from his death to his next birthday, it would be his 59th birthday, is 263 days, right? And 263, um, happens to be the 56th prime he wore number 56 so that's why i've got that there um so chris dolman 121 right just like blood sacrifice just like how many yards he got through interceptions chris dolman 121 um what else? So there's 218 total tackles. Death is 218 in um, English Extended. English Extended, 218. Death, and he had 218 total tackles. <clears throat> he had 61 assists. He was born in 1961. So he was born and bred to be a Hall of Fame defensive end. Hall of Fame defensive end, right? Born with the that game happened on that day with 110 numerology, right? Or 11. Christopher John Dolman equals 110. And I'll show you these why these other numbers are interesting. He was born with 106 numerology. Born on the 16th. 106 is 16, right? 10 plus 16 plus 19 plus 61. 106. He was also born with a hundred with twenty six numerology. Ten plus sixteen is twenty six, and one hundred and one is the twenty sixth prime. I've done this a number of times. One hundred and one also eleven, right? Came back to eleven. Um, one hundred ninety one, the forty third prime. One hundred ninety one. The 43rd prime, right? Football is 43. Football 43, right? He died 104 days after his birthday. 104 days, like 14, 43, the 14th prime number as well. 43, the 14th prime, right? Dead equals 14. So he was born with 43 numerology. 403 is 43. 10 plus 16 plus 1 plus 9 plus 6 plus 1 is 43. He died on a day with 33 numerology. 1 plus 28 plus 2 plus 2 plus is 33. And his first name, Chris, equals 33. Chris, also 39, right? <clears throat> that was the, the picture of him against the Lions. It was on a day with 39 numerology as well. Also 30 numerology. Chris equals 30, 39, also 33, that number of masonry. Um... Also, he was born on the 16th. If you write out 16, it equals 33. 16 equals 33. Also, 42 number stamped on black people. Also, 93 like the Minnesota Vikings. 39, like the reflection of, like the day that game, they showed the picture of the game against Rodney and Pete, sacking Rodney and Pete. Um, so he died three months and 13 days after his 58th birthday. 
include the end date. So he died on the third month, 13th day of his age. And that's interesting because that's 313 is a prime number. Happens to be the 65th prime number. And uh, he stands six foot five, and he died 15 weeks after his birthday. Right? If you write out 15, it equals 65. Six and five is 11. So back to 11. He wore number 56, the reflection of 65. He went to high school at William Penn. William Penn, 128, right? He wore number 56. Born in 61, he died on the 28th of January, 1 slash 28. Right? <clears throat> he went to University of Pittsburgh, 116 and 271. Why is that interesting? Well, Born on 1016 or 116, 271 happens to be the 51st prime, I'm sorry, the 58th prime number. 271, the 58th prime, right? Chris Dolman equals 58. And what a coincidence that he went to Pittsburgh, even if you just write out Pittsburgh, it equals 58 as well and 59, like defensive end, like one, <clears throat> like 140, like he died 104 days after his birthday, right? Kind of like 14. What else? I think that's it. There's lots of stuff in here. So rest in peace to Chris Dolman. You know, number 56. Look at that, he had eight interceptions and three touchdowns, like that football number, 83. Also, murder, 83. Murder, 83. Look at murder and satanic is 289. He was born on the 289th day and he weighs 289 pounds. <laughs> So murder 83, right? Football 83. So these other ciphers can be helpful. I don't use them very often, but they're always very complimentary of the work that I'm doing. So thank you so much. This is, you know, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch my video. Uh, my name is Dan. You know, channel is numerical lion i reveal the false reality in which we live in using gematria it's a picture of me thanks so much enjoy the rest of your day everybody and rest in peace to chris dolman